the moment that I'm sitting in right now is the first one that I've had alone. It's technically still not alone because there's a pet downstairs <laughs> that I've had in a very long time as a two line, uh, two four spleen projector, I guess you could say, as an eighth house stellium. As a natural knowing introvert, just by any kind of system that I need to designate that I like to spend time alone. This is the first time that I spent alone. Uh, and I can't remember how long. And to me, to not know the last time that I've really spent alone. It's kind of alarming knowing how much I receive from being alone. And how healthy it is for me to be alone, even with a partner, even with family. Even with obligations, I kind of feel like I'm going crazy. <sighs> like I'm going to lose my mind or like, you know, like explode or something. Like, um, kind of like how I was feeling. For those of you who have been with me since I uh, went to Colorado, since I've been at the crystal shop and when I was like there and I was contemplating like, oh, I have to get out, I have to go, I have to leave. Like... And not re re really recognizing that when I got on the road, it wasn't to get a van, but just like because I needed to be alone, <laughs> just to spend some time by myself. And so that's what I'm feeling right now. Just I kind of needed to talk about it. And not it's not to like point blame or fingers at anybody or say it's anyone else's fault. Sorry, it's just like there's an eyelash just eternally poking my eye. Not to say that I feel like it's anyone's fault because it's not. And nothing is ever the fault of anyone outside of us. Everything always stems back to self. So I've just been sitting with myself. Well, I haven't been sitting with myself. This is the first time I've been able to sit with myself. So, um, yeah, I just needed to express a little bit of what I've been feeling because when you express those things, you're able to like truly understand what you're feeling. So yeah, it's just it hasn't it hasn't been that the moments I've been spending with people are always draining because a lot of the moments that have been happening within the last two weeks have been beautiful, but it's still so much energy to process every day all the time that like I said, I'm feeling the, this feeling like I just don't care to finish the van. Like we have a floor in it, and we barely have walls or insulation, but I would le had legitimately had legitimately had a thought. This morning, I was like, I'm just going to throw a mattress in there and my bags and call it done. <laughs> and that's not to say that I couldn't get it done because I definitely could get it done as a, I'm so sorry, guys, my eyeball is like really bothering me. That's not to say that I couldn't get it done because I definitely could get it done. I've done it before, but I don't necessarily have the energy or the means or the tools or the time <laughs> with all these things that you need typically to do it. I've been feeling like, well, you know, who says you can't just put a mattress in a van and just travel? And I really just like want to spend time alone on the road. Uh, and I've just been sitting with that, this desperate desire in me to just be like, okay, time to get in the vehicle again and start traveling again. And uh, that's been difficult to process in terms of, uh, just like the current state of beingness that I'm at. But honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be real straight up with you guys. Like I have zero dollars in my bank account, which to be a Pisces in the second house, uh, I've been learning more about this Pisces second house placement. It's been teaching me a little bit of like uh, some of how I may treat tangible physical things as a Pisces energy is just like etheric and doesn't always necessarily uh, land down here um, yeah I have money that I have in PayPal and some money I make from the farm get saved into my partner's account um, because I am working on clearing out some debts that I owe debts that have just been looming over me and again to have this feeling, which I told myself I wasn't going to experience this again because a couple of years ago, I remember I screenshotted I had zero dollars in my bank account. And I was like, wow, I have like no money. How am I alive? Only by the blessings of God, spirit, universe have I made it this far. And I can literally say that for every year of my experience because I didn't have a job for like a whole year and somehow was fed and clothed and sheltered and provided for. But the thing that had been frustrating for me 
was that I was trying to build something to sustain and support myself financially and it wasn't working and I wasn't building anything from it. And then I was sitting with these thoughts of, okay, so I have all this time and space and I've been gifted and blessed with it and trying to create something and it's still not seeing any fruits from it. But as I've been recently learning with the human design, um, being integrated into all the systems that I like to study is, uh, learning more about how to flow within my own container to do that. And a lot of what it recommends for projectors are things that I'm already craving and desiring to do. Like I need time alone. I need a cave to be in to shed everything else off. And like, I always, I felt like I would be good. Like, like I said, this is the first time that I'm alone right now for a long time. Uh, since the last I cannot remember and it's only still gonna be for like an hour and an hour is not enough time for me I legitimately feel like I need a month <laughs> like I feel like I need so much time and so then there's all these little conundrums that I'm currently facing and I guess I wanted to talk about it because I want to be as transparent as possible not trying to speak the experiences that I'm in into like a permanent existence because I know everything is continually to continually shifting and changing um, and even as I sit with these things, I'm allowing space for spirit and universe to provide me with insights and answers and how to relieve it. And of course you're hearing like, okay, you don't have any money in your account, so go make some money. And yeah, that sounds pretty logical, right? Just go. And again, as a projector, there's this feeling that I've been getting. It could also be Saturn, not in my Saturn return yet, I just found out. It doesn't happen until next year. I just have Saturn transiting my first, but Saturn looming, Pluto is currently in my first. All of these astrological placements within me, plus my design to think about working in a nine to five in a like 3D matrix just to make some money. I would rather not be alive. And that probably sounds pretty like immature to say like oh I'd rather die than... but I, I just it's soul killing so I it's not that I'd rather die but I would be dying to do it I would be killing my soul pieces of my soul again to go back into an environment like that just for money which is why I've just been desperate for time and space alone so that I can within that container create something of value to offer others which has always been my goal but then it in turn also supports me in continuing to do so and uh, I really want to travel and I don't care how I do it. I don't care what it looks like or how it needs to look for other people. If I have something that can take me from point A to B and I can spend the majority of my day within nature or experiencing large bodies of water and animals and sharing whatever light and wisdom I may have for someone who I come across on my path and that time, that is something that I want to do. and. Uh, to like kind of bring it back to this whole like why I mentioned I had zero dollars in my account I had this thought when my partner and I went to Hawaii um, in May for our ceremony there was a large part of me basically a 90% of me that didn't want to leave I didn't want to go I could almost say 100% of me was like, no, but it was like 90. It was like 90% of me because 10% uh, of me was like, no, you know, you're going to go back, right? But I kept down denying that. I kept saying, no, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stay here. Yep. Uh, this is happening. I'm going to stay here. Something's going to come up. They were hiring for lots of positions there. I kept seeing signs for like hiring for landscaping. And I really wanted to, I really, I was like, I could look into that. I, I would be willing especially because I, I work at a farm right now so it's working with the earth I was like I'd be willing to work with the earth and make money I don't want to work for anyone else except Gaia I can't put myself into any position to do that and so it's interesting again as I'm talking this out loud I'm kind of talking out loud to do it and process it is that I was willing to kind of go into oh, I wouldn't call it a 3d job to work for Gaia I'd call it like the purpose of us as humans here on earth is to heal Gaia and to work with her and understand her and to nurture her. Um, I contemplated doing that while we were there and I was like ready to just live. I was like, I'll just live on the beach. And how I packed my bag, I packed like I wasn't coming back. I packed like I was going to be staying. So I brought everything of value to me and everything. I have, I don't have a lot of things. I definitely still kept the living in a car van mentality in terms of items. And so when we were there and it was the day before time to go, I had like this huge break in my reality and just like a 
I felt so defeated and like also like how could I be so naive how could I really think that I was gonna come here and then just like not go back and just stay and a part of me still feels like I could have just been even like at the airport everyone's tickets got printed out to leave except for me my partner and his nieces and I was like is this a test? Is this a sign? And something I've been learning about Pisces second houses is that you can see everything as a sign. So I'm learning to be more discerning, more realistic, but also still hold on to what I feel truly is an ability to believe that anything is possible. And that if I am aligned with my highest divine container, with my highest aligned beingness, I know that there's more for me than the current experience I'm in. Not to say that I'm not grateful for the current experience I'm in, but if I was truly in alignment, aligned to Lisa might have been like, I can make this work. I lived out of a car in a van and had no plan and I survived and th actually thrived living in that environment. So I truly thought just Talisa, highly divine aligned Talisa could have made that work and happen, but she didn't. And uh, it was a very, it was a Scorpio full moon, eclipse season, a lot of other projections cast upon me from everyone else's energy field. And uh, yeah, I felt very defeated that entire trip back to the, to the mainland. I knew I was meant to, I know, I knew, I know I'm meant to go back um, in perfect timing in whatever way shape or form but for right now what I've been sitting with and I don't even know if I'll be sharing this to YouTube or not I'm, I most likely will because I feel that it'll hold something of value for someone out there uh, what I've been holding on to now is the importance of not allowing what anyone else says or tells me or thinks I should do or how other people will see me or think of me based on doing it, especially with all the Aquarius in my first house. Um, I'm working really hard at just aligning myself with my own desires and wants and allowing everything else to just ripple out from that decision. Not consciously making decisions to make anyone else's life difficult, just to align me with my own. And so, again, some part of me, even though it doesn't sound realistic, truly believes that even with, <laughs> and that even to say it out loud sounds crazy. It's that journey to Lemuria feel of like, even with zero dollars in my bank account and just some money in PayPal, um, I truly believe that if I said, okay, spirit, I'm just gonna grab all my books, gonna grab all my crystals, all my tarot and oracle decks, Pack up my clothes, get my little tripod, grab my container of water and my journals, and I'm just going to throw it in the van, and I'm just going to start driving to where I feel called. And I trust that as I do that and share that experience, that because I'm living what I feel is my desire, my design, in alignment with what I desire to do, that I'll be supportive. Now... There's only one way to truly figure out if that would work or not, and it's to try it. <laughs> and that's something that, of course, like to me, that doesn't sound crazy because some of the things that I've done within my experience of this lifetime. But if we are learning from patterns here, the last time I did that, some of my choices were aligned, but not all of them were. And so I've really been sitting on working and being in alignment with making any kind of decisions from here on out, especially because they are affecting my partner now. Like I can't just be like, okay, I'm gonna get the van go. Like, uh, it's, um, I don't know. It To me, it doesn't seem crazy. To me, it's like, well, I want to travel across North America and see some sacred sites and connect with sacred people to, in a van that can take me there. And I have a van. I have enough money that I would get to at least one point a, and could exchange services and barter with others and then continue to do that until I make it to the Pacific Ocean and then from there who knows to me that doesn't sound crazy uh, so I would just say hey take a vote in the comments should I do it I just saw 444 on the camera take a vote in the comments should I just say you know what what the heck let's not finish the van let's just throw our stuff in there and work on it as we travel and see what happens. Honestly, to me, there's a, 
some kind of bug hovering out of the window. I wonder if it's a message from spirit. What kind of bug are you? I almost want to say it's a dragonfly, but I don't want to assume. That's kind of what I've been thinking about doing. And I mean, I don't feel that crazy to do it. And honestly, we're technically supposed to be getting on the road in September. And I should have the patience for September, right? I should have the patience for that. That's only one month away, but I literally feel like I need all the time that is possible until then to be alone, to be prepared for when I get on the road. So I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I'm just kind of talking about what's going on within my space and place and time on Earth right now. And it looks a lot like just being ready to maybe the answers that I'm looking for. Well, five, five, five. So I looked at the camera. The answers that I'm looking for don't typically exist within this kind of space. Um, especially with Uranus being in my fourth house right now. The answers for me exist out in nature. And not to say that I couldn't just go into the front yard and get some answers. Because that can definitely occur. The issue is that I'm not alone in the front yard. It's a whole neighborhood full of people and people drive by. And I don't know what that does to me. It interrupts some kind of organic flow and connection that I have with Gaia. I don't know. So, yeah, I kind of I think I'll sit with this. And I'll talk to my partner about it and see what his thoughts are. Uh, as a projector, you're supposed to wait to be invited to share all your like because I have the channel of like the genius to freak channel. So like sometimes if I just say something without being asked my thoughts. I can sound like crazy to say it, but if someone says, so what do you think we should do? And then I tell them this whole plan and idea that I have, then they're like, oh, okay, let's try that. So part of me, like I said, just wants to say, I don't know, you guys, I guess I'm just going to have to hold out for a month, which just feels like an eternity to me. But Saturn is in my first house. He's looming to come into return and Saturn is about time. So perhaps I should not be North Node Sagittarius rushing. And just have some patience. It's just like, uh, it's hard to be around people all the time. It's difficult, I find it difficult. I am looking forward to dog sitting next week for my mother. And she'll be out of, she'll be going traveling the though, which is I'm very excited for. So I'll be able to dox it and have some space there. I planned while I was there to be working on the programs that I am working on. Um, that spirit has guided me to create, to offer as a means of like a bartering system. Like, hey, if you're trying to create some abundance for yourself, offer something. <laughs> and not just like the group Reiki, which doesn't work for my design. It's one-on-one -on -one Reiki sessions, but even larger than that, offering a design that allows people to have come to the realization of things that I've already come to realize within myself and things that I've added to my uh, inherent ingrained knowing, creating a program uh, for others to find the same within themselves that allow them to move more in alignment and feel and flow, which is what I'm seeking. And I don't feel like I'm in it right now. And I, I mean, I kind of already know, but until then, what I'll be doing for the next month really is working on the programs. It's going to be working on myself, uh, going to be working on the van. Um, yeah, myself, the van, <laughs> the programs, and uh, who knows what else, really. I uh, just needed to talk about that. I needed to I needed to say this out loud. Like I said, I don't know if this will be getting posted to YouTube or not. But I know all of you who have subscribed to me already, like, if you've subscribed to me through all the things that I've been through, I already know that, like, you're, you just are like, I support you, human. I want to support you by subscribing. So thank you for doing that. I do appreciate it. And it is going to make a difference. Um, my goal is to be able to support myself through what I share on YouTube. But learning to flow as a projector on YouTube is going to be interesting as well. And experimenting with my design which is to be invited so would we consider me posting a video I didn't I wasn't asked and invited to make a video right but 
if someone clicks on the video, they're inviting themselves into my field. And then if they resonate with my field, then they're like, oh, okay, yeah, I like her. She seems like she's talking about her actual life and sharing her insight and knowledge and things she's doing. And I can actually watch that she's doing it and then it'll inspire me. Like, that's how I feel the invitation should work. So I am not inhibiting myself and like sharing my thoughts and my feelings because they're not uninvited if someone's clicking and inviting themselves to hear it. That's what I'm going with. So yeah, I'm not going to make this video any longer. It's already 20 minutes. If you're here to the end, then you're a real one. So thank you. I will be updating as I have space and time to do so. Thank you for your support. Thank you for liking, sharing, all those things that you do. Um, and until next time, I'm sending you peace. And I'm sending you love. <laughs>